Hi, you Mark. Great session the other day at the range. Uh, I think the, we finally we finally got the light bulb coming on uh, in regards to your transition. And the bit of light was when you commented about that feeling. You suddenly got that feeling back. <coughs> excuse me, that you had many moons ago when you were hitting that nice draw shot. So if we take a little look at this initial swing that you were making, still hitting a lot of good shots, but a lot of inline shots that are slightly pulled or drifting slightly to the right. We can see though that the shaft steepens in the downswing. The hands are above plane. Remember the check point we would want at that point is the shaft more through the middle of the right arm. So a shallowing of the shaft is what we're looking for, similar to what we see here with Charlie on the on the bottom left hand side of your screen. So the difference between those two swings are the arms that are in more at P5 and the shaft is shallower at P5. So here we've got arms out, shaft steep, and that can be seen down at the bottom of that screen where the geometry is concerned. Horizontal swing plane to the left, club face to the left as the third accumulator rolls more due to the change of direction at the top. Very upright vertical swing plane. One of the things you do during the downswing is you start to raise the butt of the golf club from about P5.7 in an attempt to stop the club coming too much from the inside, too much from the outside. So it's a way of shallowing things out. So there's a quick raising and uncocking of the wrist, raising of the butt in an attempt to stop the club getting too much outside the line. As a result, the angle of attack can be quite steep at times as well. So arms out at five, shaft steep at five. The screenshot here in the middle is you working on the drill where we're basically trying to hit the biggest push possible. You can see as you do that, the arms are in more at five and the shaft is starting to shallow. One particular useful checkpoint that we used related to this position when the hands were about level with the belt line. You can see there now that the shaft is sort of through the left forearm. Was now it's much more in the middle and even slightly favouring the right forearm. And this can be seen again with the geometry down on the, on the, on the centre screen. Um, horizontal swing plane shifting miles to the right. Downward angle of attack giving us more of a path. And the face angle now being slightly or considerably more open due to the difference in which accumulator 3 releases. So it's not releasing as early as the club drops underneath. Accumulator 3 doesn't rotate. If anything, when we're working on this drill, it may even counter-rotate, causing the club to drop behind you more and causing the club face to open up more. Uh, at this stage, we're still hitting down on the golf ball quite severely uh, due to the things we've always had to do through impact. So that will start to shallow out. Uh, it did do towards the end of your session and you can see the vertical swing plane starting to change as well as you feel less of a need to raise the handle and uncock the wrist quickly through impact. to prevent the club coming from the outside. So that's you hitting the biggest push possible. And then this is you towards the end of your session, just making a standard swing. And you can see now the change of direction much better. The condition of the shaft at that point, much more like we're seeing with Charlie Wee. And again, the geometry down at the bottom says it all. Swing plane ever so slightly to the right. Angle of attack on that one. Still still slightly steep. Like I say, we've always been a little bit steep and that's going to take time to get used to. And that split second timing thing where you uncock the wrist and release the club. But a far, far better angle in regards to the overall direction of the swing. A far more appropriate vertical swing plane and a club face position that's much more appropriate to starting the ball up the right and hitting them nice high push draws 
that you were hitting towards the end of your session. So, quick comparison just before we finish of all three swings. Original swing on the top left. The feeling of hitting the big push in the centre. And then the end product on the far right. Much, much better move. Delivery into the ball completely different. Hitting out at the golf ball in a more appropriate manner. You can see here because of that severe uncocking of the wrist to try and sort of shallow out and get the club on the inside. The right hand's coming off the golf club. There's quite a lot of division between the forearms. When you were doing the drill, you were still expecting to get that or you were still trying to help that club stay inside so you're carrying on doing it and then towards the end of the session much less uncocking of the wrist no right hand coming off no excessive release much more appropriate through the ball exiting higher again much more conducive to hitting the draw Good luck with it, mate. Look forward to speaking with you just before tour school uh, and keep up the good work. Great text the other day as well, so nice to see that it was working for you out on the course. Well done.